Alright, so in one of my videos I was doing this problem, find the area of a parallelogram with corners at these points, and I drew this picture, and somebody asked, how did I know to put the corners in these locations? And the honest truth is I guessed, which is not a very good answer. Uh, so let's look at how we should have done it. So here's a parallelogram, and I just sort of randomly plot, plop those points down. Now, I know that it has to form a parallelogram, but I don't necessarily know that the points are in these locations. So how do I tell? The trick is to look at these vectors, the vectors running from uh, what should be parallel, uh, parallel sides. And if this is indeed a parallelogram, then these sides should be parallel. So let's figure out this vector. So this is the vector uh, negative 2, negative 5, 4, right? And this vector down here, as written, is 4, negative 1, 0. Those are not parallel vectors, so we have a problem here, which means we need to swap something around. Swapping these two isn't going to change anything. That'll well, it'll reverse the order of this vector, but that's about it. So what we're going to do is swap these two points around and see if that makes a difference. So now this vector becomes one negative three two, and this vector is one negative 3, 2. And now these are actually parallel vectors, so we know that these two sides are going to form two sides of the parallelogram. We can check the other sides here as well. This is 3, 2, negative 2. This is 3, 2, negative 2. So now we actually have a parallelogram, and we can use this side here along with maybe this one here, which we just said was 3, to negative 2 and do the cross product of those two sides to find the uh, area of our parallelogram.